this for me is critical to staying organized. If I had notes on the classes that I teach scattered across my entire vault, even if I had MOCs, it would take me so long to find anything, particularly when I'm in the class. I use these folders and these notes and files when I'm in my classes. They're critical to my teaching. I use Obsidian in every single class that I teach. So let me show you a bit of how this is organized. So each folder is a class that I teach. These get updated pretty much before each semester. So they're constantly evolving. This semester I'm teaching our qualitative research class for music educators. So I'm going to click on qualitative research and you'll see here it doesn't look immediately like there's a whole lot in this folder. And that's because I have another subfolder and an MOC. And this is a system that I use so I can stay very organized. Well, let's take a look at the MOC. This is the map of content for this class. In this MOC, you'll see here some notes that I have linking to other notes. And these are just to remind me that these are some topics from this semester that I wanted to make sure that I was building out. This is not necessarily an organization of the class. It's just stuff that I put up there for myself. Here, you could see I have a note or a file for every single separate class. You can almost think of these as lesson plans. I don't think of them as lesson plans, but for those of you who are teachers, these are essentially lesson plans. I think of these as plans of possibilities. I have a whole other video on that. And how did I get it this organized? It's because I'm using data view. You'll see here it's created a table. And what it's essentially doing is it's grabbing information from this folder, assignments and plans. And the way this works is each class has a separate note with the number and the date of the class and the assignment that's due. So that way, let's say it's Tuesday night, I'm getting into class. The next class for me is the 14th. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the class and now I'm completely organized. I have the assignment that's due and I can open that up in another tab if I want. So I'm organized for the class through that note, which is in a subfolder. Back in the qualitative research class folder, I have a folder that's research assignments and plans. In a class note, I always link to the assignment that's due and I could just easily toggle over it. So I have a quick connection to that assignment. And then I have all my plan of possibilities or my what some people might consider lesson plan in there. And all of that is maintained in this folder. So imagine how these could be sprawled out all over my vault, but they're self-contained in this folder. That doesn't mean that I can't link to them from some other note. So I have all my notes in there. Let's go to one other class that I'm teaching this semester. This is a little bit different, you'll notice. So one thing that I started doing is archiving prior classes. So I have easy access to reference back into prior classes. So you can see here I have a folder of an archived set of classes. I have class notes. I have examples of some of the work that we did in class. I have feedback from students. Now, for this semester, I have, just like in the qualitative research class, assignments and plans. I have all the assignments in here going all the way through the whole class, and I have all my plans of possibilities or project plans. It's a lot of notes, but they're tucked away in that folder, so it's really not a big deal. And again, I have an MOC where I have everything organized. Here again is data view, and you can see that data view has organized all my files for me with the class numbers going down and the date, so I can easily see what's going on in any given class. Let's go back to the MOC for a moment. Why do I have notes to doctoral interns? Because one of the things that I do when I have doctoral students interning or TAing in a class that I teach is I take this whole folder and I share this through Obsidian's publish system. The reason that I do this is they have a published version of all of the notes in this folder. And anytime I update something, sometimes I'm updating classes like just before the class starts because I have an idea that comes into mind. I can just update it, hit the published version, and then whoever's working with me that semester has the most immediate updated version of that class when I'm doing that. There's one additional thing that I have related to my teaching in a separate folder. And this took me a long time to develop and figure out how to organize. You'll see over here, right under courses I teach, teaching ideas, exercises, and etudes. This is a project or activity that I often use this in my undergraduate art of teaching contemporary musicians class. And it's in its own separate note. And you might be wondering, well, why, if I use this for MUE 415, why is it not just a note in my MUE 415 folder? Or why is it not just a note on that day. And the reason for that is I have found through teaching that 
I'm often borrowing ideas or activities and projects across classes and just creating variations of them. Or I might be referring to a project to someone and I want to be able to pull it up easily. So what I've started to do is I have a folder full of all the different activities and projects that I do. Why do I need something like that? Because all the classes that I teach are pretty much project-based or there are a lot of active activities going on. So I'm constantly having students engage in activities and projects. So I created a separate note for each project or activity. Does it save me a ton of time? Absolutely, because I can immediately find an activity or a project and then double brackets, it's now linked into whatever other note that I have or wherever I wanna reference it. So this ends up saving me so much time because I can find things. I don't have to try to remember, wait, what class is that activity in? What semester did I teach that? Where is it in the note? It's its own note and it's in its own folder and it's not cluttering up my vault. So if you're the type of teacher who has lots of units and activities and projects and you might want to vary them or borrow them across classes, highly recommend having a folder that's a way to organize all your activities and projects. And then highly recommend that you have separate notes for each of those projects or activities and that you can link to them from other notes.